Hello friends and welcome to another Popper League. Today we're taking a break from Gates and we're going to be playing some of the other decks that uh, exist in Magic the Gathering and Popper. Uh, starting off with Bogles. Um, we're playing a bunch of hexproof creatures including the namesake Slippery Bogle and uh, we're going to play a bunch of enchantments on them to make them swallow. Uh, this deck uses enchantments instead of lands to make their creatures big, so their creatures are these creatures are going to stay large turn after turn. Uh, yeah, so um, let's join the queue and see how we do. Well, this is a pretty obvious mulligan. We have no lands, so uh, no way to keep it. All right, this is keepable. What do we get rid of here? I'm thinking probably the cloak, maybe the abundant growth. Wow, that's so fast. Using the Simeon Spirit Guide to put a Festival Crasher down, turn one. And on the play. Let's see what uh, the opponent can do with this incredible start. So turn two, Reckless Impulse, Smack for three, setting up their turn three here pretty well. Let's see if I can draw a land here. We miss. Play Ledgewalker, pass. The Festival Crashers' velocity has been maximized. I can't block if we're going to win this game. We just have to let it go. We do draw land here. That's pretty excellent. Although, because it's a forest at this point, our choices are kind of narrowed down. We can play Armadillo Cloak and gain three life. I think that's pretty good. We could play Ethereal Armor Rancor and hold this back as a blocker. Rite of Flame, very cool. Another way to, uh, ooh, Assault Strobe, so we're already dead. And I think we would have been dead even if we played the Ethereal Armor Rancor and held this back to block. It has Double Strike... Actually, we would have. Um, it wouldn't have dealt the um, the second round of damage since Ethereal Armor gives our creature first strike. So I guess we would have survived, but lost our creature, and no further creatures were forthcoming. All right, so let's see here. What do I have for this matchup? I've got Ram through to try and kill their creatures. Standard Bearer to. Uh, Draw their fire. Life link to gain life. Do I want the free wind falcon? Maybe.
I don't think Rancor is where we need to be for this matchup. Yeah, and I think this is pretty decent. I mean, if the opponent doesn't have a way to give their creature Trample, then this just blocks a creature all day. I think this is going to have to be the version of Hut Dogs I play next. Yeah, we'll keep this. Ooh, Lotus Petal. Festival Crasher. So fast. So I could, mm, kind of awkward, I think, jeez, oh I think we're just going to waste a mana no matter what, I guess we can use the mana, the Ash Barons, no, that's not, not what it, that's not the way it's going to work. We could play Planes, put Utopia Sprawl in the Forest, and then Ethereal Armor, the Scout. And then we have a 3-3 three, three first strike, decent blocker. And it will be a much better attacker next turn when we can put Armadillo Cloak and Lifelink on it to give our creature double lifelink. Crash through. We have first strike. So as long as they can't... Uh, they could have Mutagenic here. That would be such a blowout. We're going to take the damage. We have double lifelink next turn. I don't want to get trapped by a Muta and just lose my creature when we're about to have um, a huge swing here. And here we actually have double lifelink, which is uh, not something you see very often, but we are going to gain 14 life here instead of 7. Because the way Armadillo Cloak works, it doesn't actually say lifelink on it. So it does actually stack with the uh, the lifelink from the namesake enchantment. Okay. Those are two very quick games. The player on the play uh, won each time, so we're going to be uh, under pressure here being the player on the draw. wonder if I want to bring in an extra cartouche and take out a mask here since we are on the draw. Um, this would give us an extra blocker. The first strike is rather relevant. I always feel dirty taking out uh, Ancestral Mask, though. It's one of the best cards in the deck. It just costs so much mana, and we're on the draw, so we just don't have a lot of time.
Okay, this is something weird is going on because it's been over eight minutes. Okay, we got it. Uh, yeah, I'd say this is a keep. A little bit on the slow side. Play something, so I know you're not holding up Counterspell. Awesome. Oh, yeah, let's not forget to cycle Ash Barons. I got a little bit scared there, and I thought I hit six, but nope. Pass Cooper was smart and hit zero, so we skip to the end step. Ledgewalker, go. And then next turn, we're going to cast Armadillo Cloak, probably, to try and play around uh, Fairy. I mean, Spell Stutter Sprite. Oh, if we don't have to play around Spell Stutter Sprite, then we're going to play Cartouche Rancor. See if we can get another one drop aura here. That is a good aura. Okay. I don't want to resolve the ethereal armor instead of the cartouche, but the cartouche blocks the ninja for one turn. Decision point. They both give first strike. This one makes this creature just way better. Right, let's, um... Really be the aggressor here. It's gonna be hard for them to deal with this ledge walker. Hello, blind. But you know, they've uh, they've got stuff and things. They've got ninja work in here so they're gonna have a ton of counter magic that'll still be good thinking we might go for cartouche into mask here try and draw out some counter magic to resolve the better spell and regardless if cartouche resolves it's still quite good okay so we get to uh, resolve a mask Baited. <laughs> it's only going to give my creature plus five, plus five. All right, so what are we going to do here? I want to bring in Gutshot for sure. Thinking pro... Do I want... No, I might want Free Wind Falcon. I don't know. Protection from Red is pretty good, but these things are already quite good at... Uh, and then th this can just be blocked, right? So we'll bring in the gut shot. Maybe the ram through. As a way to kill a spell stutter sprite in response. Which is what gut shot is for as well. Take out commune. And I think we'll take out a couple cartouche. Don't think I need lifelink for this matchup. Don't think I need standard bearer. This is like more for the mirror. Did I bring standard bearer in versus hot dogs? Brought in a lot of cards versus hot dogs. Anyways, um, into the game. Let's go. One land, and it's a plains. We're gonna mulligan this. Two lands, they're both Ash Barons. I guess we can Abundant Growth uh, the other Ash Barons. And we have a creature here. This is not the worst. I'm going to keep it.
Want to mulligan to five on the play that is kind of rough. The real armor. You know what? I should have um, I should have kept all the cartouche. One of the cards opponent could have here is curfew. This is a real big hassle. They're going to counter my abundant growth. Please no sprite. Please no sprite. Ah, brutal. Okay, no ninja. I think I might try and resolve a ledge walker this turn. They have another spell stutter sprite. I'm pretty screwed. Okay, it resolves. Very nice. So we have a chance. Especially if we can draw a forest here. Ah, that's not a forest. Uh, do they draw a counter spell here? Maybe they have um, a null. They go for the full on counter spell. Okay. Oh, we're not blocking with it, so might as well attack. Point two cards in hand. And we are kind of screwed on lands. Who? Which side is going to break first? Let's try and resolve the Utopia Sprawl again. Okay, I'll name white. No ninja. No plays. All right, we're going to play Armadillo Cloak. We got two of them. There's a cannonade. Yeah, I kind of figured. Okay, well, I mean, they um, three for two here. Our problem is we don't have any creatures. <laughs> so we're going to need to draw some. Fairy Seer, two cards on the bottom. Play a land. They have one card left in hand. Got a creature. Nice. Resolves. Let's try and put an ethereal armor on it. Nice. Immune to cannonade. Let's go. We'll see if we can put an armadillo cloak on it, and then we're laughing. Okay, so they reveal, reveal a preordain and immediately cast. Another Fairy Seer. How do they scry? Uh, two cards to the top. Okay, that's scary. Do we get land? We do. So we can go Armadillo Cloak Ethereal Armor. Oh, they have a spell stutter sprite as their last card. Maybe a counter spell. Fucking curfew. Yeah, it does. It does work like a weird fling. Um, if we have Trample, 
it deals the rest of the damage to the uh, the opponent. As well as getting rid of a pesky creature like a Spell Stutter Sprite. Uh, no reveal from the Augur of Bolas. And we only have access to a single green mana. So we can play Ledge Walker, but nothing else. Okay, I think we're dead. Oh, the forest is a really good draw here. So they can kill me with a lightning bolt here. If they kept bolt in. Or they could kill me with two ninjas. Lots of ways for this to go wrong. Get a gut shot. Oh man. We can't actually cast gut shot. Can curve you again. Uh, ram through. Which one do we kill? I think we kill the auger so they can't return it. So yeah, we get to gain some life here. Still brutal. Double curfew. Two cards on top. That's scary. Oh, shit. Why did we... I don't have a stop on the attack step. That sucks. When did I take that off? And we can get totally punished here by a ninja. Okay. Well, let's try again. Nice. Getting it up to a 3-3, three, three, so it's out of range of um, Cannonade. Big deal. Now if we can... I mean, we're still in a big, big trouble here. Okay, that actually kills us. The uh, Fire Ice for the last two points of damage. Well done. Well done. On a mulligan to five, no less. So yeah, I want to bring in both Cartouche here. That was a mistake before. I was not thinking about um, Curfew. Hard to take cards out then. I guess the ledge walker. Yeah, ledge walker is not too hot in this matchup. They can block it. But we do like having more creatures so that we have something to return with the curfew. That's what Cartouche Solidarity is for.
two planes. Cannot keep this. Okay. Um, oh, we don't have a creature, though. Okay, here we go. We can keep this one. Although we got to put two cards back. That's brutal. Put back Ledge Walker and Mask. Tons of creatures now. Play something here. We're playing into Spell Stutter Sprite. I think if they had Sprite, they would have countered the Sprawl, but I don't think it's worth one damage to lose the Falcon. Could have been, you know, an expert bait from the opponent, I don't know. They're going to counterspell the second Falcon. Feel pretty comfortable attacking here now. Augur, what do you reveal? Reveals no cards. Oh, they're taking a pause here. Four cards in hand. They do have the counter spell. Gonna use it. Gonna attack past the turn with a forest in hand here. Try and bluff like we have absolutely anything. Again, they reveal no cards with Augur. Two cards in hand for the opponent. Oh, and they managed to hit they managed to connect with a ninja it's a pretty big deal and we draw forest this was our crux turn for us to do something kind of feel like we have to double block the ninja which makes us vulnerable to curfew. Because if we don't block the ninja, they're just drawing towards counter magic. Oh well, this is one of the things that happens when you're playing Boggles. Um, you'll just uh, mulligan into oblivion and draw no auras, or mulligan and draw no creatures. Oh well, the choice has been taken from us. Electricery robs us of all of our blockers, and we draw Utopia Sprawl.
Well, at least they didn't play Spellstutter Sprite Block. But yeah, we are pretty close to scooping this one up. They they draw a counter spell. All right, I'm out. GG. We have a creature. We have a good mix of lands and spells. We're going to keep this and just wish we were on the play. Opponent is keeping seven. All right, let's get started. They start with Mortuary Mire. We're going to start with a Slippery Boy. Next turn, thinking Cartouche Rancor. Yeah, Zaxman. Um, I am serious. We are we are playing uh, Bogles and Bogle-like decks all week. I meant it as a joke and not at the same time. So the joke's on all of us. I'm going to be playing, like I said, uh, Bogles-like decks. So very, very fast creature strategies where we're looking to make our creatures very, very large very quickly. Um, so after this league, I'm going to be playing Mono White Heroic. And then um, next time I play Popper, we're going to be playing um, Hut Dogs. So yeah, we're just going to go along with that theme. That's the plan. Larger and larger. We will increase their largesse. Dawnbringer, okay. You can get rid of Rancor. I think you wanted to get rid of Rancor there. Okay, we win. Oh, no, no, hold on a second. Because if they get rid of Rancor, we just get to recast it. So that, yeah. I just forgot how my card works. Don't worry about it, friends. We're still fine. Token deck with Grower and Glimmer Baron. Um, I should definitely do that. Although I would uh, play that as a Gates deck. I, I guess that's fine. I guess we could play a Gates deck this week. Okay, so we're playing against Familiars. What do we want to do against Familiars? I think we want Standard Bearer, maybe? So they can't snap their own creatures? That seems kind of um, niche. Maybe Ram Through? I don't mind Ram Through. Yeah, maybe we'll play a, a gate stack on Thursday then, along with uh, Hot Dogs. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Ram through versus Stonehorn. Definitely need this then. Oh, what are we going to take out? Leaning, I always look at uh, Commune with the Spirits as one of the first cards to take out. It's a great, great card, but um, a lot of these, the, uh, these spells are performing some very important roles like armadillo cloak we don't really care so much about the life game but the trample is huge and then also being a three mana spell is really important versus um some of their counter magic so yeah i think we'll just take out two communes makes sense to take out communes when we're playing ram through as well since we don't get to put ram through to hand with commune we're just going to submit like this
We have lands, we have spells, we have a bogle. I'm going to keep this. Ooh, okay. They're giving us a, a chance here to resolve some stuff. Because they're totally tapped out. I wish I could play two spells here, but my lands make that pretty awkward since this has to enchant a forest. So I'm thinking... Thinking we play the Sprawl here and name green so that we can just have more mana for next turn. Although resolving the Rancor is a pretty big deal. Alright, so they're going to have access to Prohibit or Negate here, or maybe not. Ah, that Dawnbringer Cleric. That card is a jerk to my deck. They snap it. Oh. Maybe I will bring in um, Standard Bearer so they can't do the snap on the Cleric here because this is absolutely brutal. Hold off on that. Let's some um, Abundant Growth of Plains. Oh my, they're countering this? Didn't expect that. Let's resolve our ledge walker. Didn't think that would be the spell they would counter. Need a guttural response? I think we have, um, what is that card called? Uh, counter a spell that targets a permanent you control? I think there's something that looks like that. Okay, ooh, Ancestral Mask. I think, uh, do we just go with a Rancor here? Yeah. I, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's actually blue. Uh, we have Binds of Bastwood, but that doesn't protect anything in this deck. Revoke Existence on the Rancor. It's a pretty solid answer. Ooh, let's attack with a 10 10. Mm, should have been a little bit more careful there. Prismatic strands, okay. That's a hassle and a half. I was just thinking, like, fortunately they didn't have double white mana there, but attacking with one creature into double white mana is a little bit dangerous nowadays. Ah, uh, there's that damn snap again. Taking out my Ancestral Mask, no doubt. Reducing the Ledge Walker to a mere 3 3. Ooh, and there's okay, a Mancer to return Snap. Alright. Got a Rancor. Can at least do some. No, we can't do any damage because of Prismatic Strands. Oh, wow. I guess uh, that's non-lethal damage, so they figure they didn't need to 
prismatic strands there. I think we're pretty close to conceding this game and moving on to game three. But Parallax is at uh, rather low cards in hand here. So I think that... Ooh, and here's a Mole Drifter to refresh their hand. It's like, oh, maybe we have a chance, but we need to draw something real good off the top, and we draw land. Deck! You're failing me. All right, so they have the Vector Glider. We can't attack with the Ledge Walker and expect it to survive. All right, opponent has the Modern Age, discarding another Prismatic Strands. So it looks like we're not dealing any damage for a long time. Does the Ethereal Armor resolve? It does. Let's try to get some damage in. Okay, again, opponent isn't worried about uh, the damage we're doing with Ledge Walker if it isn't lethal. Revoke Existence on the Ethereal Armor instead of the Rancor. Cartouche gives our creature First Strike. So we can start attacking again. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a bad move, actually. The Prismatic Strands just kills our Ledge Walker. But, I mean, what can we do? Are we just going to sit here and do nothing? Alright, just about hopeless. Let's get rid of this other prismatic strands here. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? That's a pretty good block. I'm just getting impatient. Because I, I I can't wait. Opponent's is, uh, opponent's deck is too good. They're going to win the long game if we give them enough uh, cards to draw. I think we can probably concede um, after one more turn here. Because, yeah, they're just going to be having so many cards available with this Mole Drifter. So I want to bring in the standard bearer to uh, to grab those snaps from the opponent. They were too good. Awkward on the lands here. Well, 
Ooh, that's a good one. Do they have a null? Okay. Not a null. Do they have a cleric? No. So they've missed a couple of options here. Um, let's try to go for mask. Prohibit won't work on this. Okay, resolves. And we get our damage through. So it looks like they were holding up prohibit. Ooh, we're going to hit them big time. This is going to be massive, massive damage. Not lethal, though. Hmm. This is scary. Yeah, it's probably Shrans. I'm going to play Cartouche so we don't just, like, lose to, um, Curfew. They only have one white mana, so they can't ask us to sacrifice an attacker. It is Strands, okay. Yeah, we, we need to get Trample first. Oh, they're going to snap their Vigilance token. Okay. Play our Kaomancer. So maybe they think that's a blocker. They return strands to their hand. Uh, the question is, do we cast the ram through right now? They could have Ephemerate. I think they... Pr Let's play like they have Ephemerate here. Uh, don't have... Okay, so... Let's play the planes. Put the Abundant Growth on it. Draw a card. Rancor? Slippery Boy. Play the Bogle. And we're going to attack here. Casting Ram through first is great if they don't have Ephemerate. Wins us the game. But if they do, it's really, really bad. Okay. So they don't get their ephemerate nonsense. I think what did they return? A snap to their hand? Oh no, the, I remember what they returned to their hand. Uh prismatic strands. Our opponent is living on the... just standing at the edge of life here. And we win! They didn't have a white creature to play. GG. Alright, uh, obviously we cannot keep this. No lands. Let's mull. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we can keep this. We have the Abundant Growths. I think we'll uh, just get rid of one of our ledge walkers and go with it. Oh, Affinity? Yeah, I think that's on the list. 
Is it not? Nope, there it is. Grixis Affinity. Definitely on the list. Okay, we're going to get a name green with this. Next turn, we'll play Ledgewalker plus Abundant Growth. Ooh, playing the uh, Demir food. Say it mulligans heavily, huh? Another abundant growth. Okay, I like tapping the island. Looks like they're maybe looking for a ninja with a brainstorm here. Yeah, it's very abundant. And the attack. Uh, not sure about that. Oh, wow. They brainstorm locked themselves into a one land hand, friends. And they attack, so I get free damage in. Well, let's get some free damage in, huh? <laughs> Another abundant growth. Abundant growths look pretty good with Ancestral Mask. Okay, so they get the Ash Barons. We get to see maybe what their other color is. Nope, they go for another blue. Yeah, attacking in with one here makes sense. You only really want to keep one back. All right, let's uh, start out with an Abundant Growth over here. Draw a card. Cartouche, nice. Add white and green. We'll play Abundant Growth on, uh, on this one again, I guess. Get a Plains. Play the Cartouche here. All we need to do is resolve Trample. And this game is over. Now we know what uh, their second color is. Irocam, we live on this dark side. Commune with spirits. All right, they're gonna spell start that. Um, should have attacked with my warrior token. Don't know why I didn't. Um, I'm going to cast the Slippery Boy. Yeah, this planes can tap for so many colors. But only one. Only once. Opponent still hasn't learned their lesson about Brainstorm. Maybe this one will work out better for them. First one was not very good. Yeah, we don't fear the dark here on this stream. Yeah, that would have been a lot better. Play the Bogle first. Look for a, uh, a response from the opponent. Maybe get the Commune to resolve.
Okay, here's Shrek. Oh, no trample again. Let's attack with Ledgewalker. Any blockers? Any blockers for my ledge walker. They need a flyer. Do they have one? No flyers. We win. All right, now this is the uh, type of deck that we did lose to last time, so let's be careful. Um, well, Ledgewalker did some very good work there. Just in general, Ledgewalker's not very good in this matchup since they have a ton of flyers to be able to block it. Uh, the birds, because the opponent's going to bring in Electricery, Cannonade, so this is a creature that can survive that. Exactly, Irocam. This hand, though, this is not not where we want to be. Ledge Waterker is better versus snaps. I don't think that um, is it plays snap though. You know, if we had a creature in this hand with these two cards, I would have kept it. But we don't have a creature. We must mulligan. Okay, we can keep this one. Uh, so we need to keep the forest. We need to keep the slippery bogle. I want to keep this, this, and this. So there's only two cards left. All right, so we're going to play the slippery bogle right away. Uh, this creature can actually be countered by a, a Pyroblast. So we're going to want to get it to resolve. I don't think they're going to bring in Pyroblast against us, though. It's just like super corner case. Okay, so they get Mountain. Um, if we play Ethereal Armor, that's still not enough to protect us from Cannonade. But it is good enough to protect us from... Uh, Electricery. So, Ethereal Armor is better versus Electricery. Cartouche is better versus um, Curfew. And neither is enough versus Cannonade. So if they have Cannonade here, we're kind of screwed. Kind of feels like that's what they're representing. I think I'm just going to attack and pass the turn. Hmm. Fairy Seer. Oh, I don't really see playing that into Cannonade. One top, one bottom. Does make their spell setter sprites a lot worse. Ram through. Interesting. Put another cartouche on the bogle. 
Now they do have Cannonade. That's a pretty good trade for them. Pretty difficult to play around that, though. Oops. Let's go for Rancor first. How about Ethereal Armor? And they just have all the counter magic. Uh, they don't have all the cards, though. They only have two cards in hand currently. As long as they don't have Ninja. Shit. Okay, that's bad. So we need to draw land right now so we can cast this cloak. This is super important. Okay. Cannot spell stutter that, but they have the they have counter spell though. Uh, I think we're dead. I'm gonna give it one more draw. See if we can draw another cloak or something, but having a spell like um having spell stutter sprite in hand. I guess we could draw ethereal armor, then ram through. Uh, we just draw forest. One more draw step. hour and 20 minutes into the stream we're not even finished the league i need to start conceding faster keep this It's a lot of mana available. Fingers crossed they don't have electricery here. Shit. Oh well. That's uh that's bogles for you, friends. That's the way your games are gonna go sometimes. Sometimes all it takes is a single spell, and that'll ruin your day. Opponent with six cards in hand. We're going to be looking at conceding soon. No ninja, no creature. And no full house. Missed their combat step this time. Uh, Alright, I'm over it. They're going to have counter spells for all of our creatures. Let's just move on. 
Good enough. We'll keep this. We can get some stuff started early here with a turn one slippery boy. Uh, I mean, I only played against Kiln Fiend once in this league and we won it. Um, I think it's really dependent on Bogle's uh, life gain. If they manage to like quickly set up a creature with Cloak and uh, Lifelink, then they're probably favored. All right, let's tack in for three on turn two. Slippery Bogle. Going to be growing right quick. That's the plan. Opponent also playing a Utopia Sprawl deck. Although their chosen color is red. Okay, so we're playing against a Ponza deck. So yeah, I was playing against Hut Dogs earlier, and I had the uh, the fabled double lifelink creature, where I had Armadillo Cloak and lifelink on it. Gained 14 life in one swing. It was pretty nice. Another forest means we don't have any white mana for second cloak. That's fine. Yeah, that was match one. All right, all right. So what are we going to be doing here? Uh, opponent is playing Ponza. Let's take a look at our Ponza deck. This should be Owlbear. Alright, so yeah, they have a huge amount of cannonades here that they're probably working with. Don't know what else they could possibly have. So we're going to bring in our Free Wind Falcons. And that's it. I think, actually, the Ledge Walkers seem very good in this matchup. Let's keep those. We'll just get rid of two communes. Yeah, they could definitely have some forms of um, enchantment destruction. There are quite a few available. Uh, let's see here if I can find... Yeah, Multani's Decree is going to be one of the things that's just absolutely terrifying that they could have. They could also have um, the three mana spell, just destroy all tranquility, destroy all enchantments. There's also a Cascade card that kills enchantments, but that's not too scary. Serene Heart. Yeah, that's a very, very good card. I've played that in uh, my mostly Rakdos deck. Two mana, destroy all auras. In general, people in Popper are going to be prepared for Bogles. So you can expect um, game one to be generally easier than games uh, two and three. So similar to modern dredge, you're really looking to capitalize on that game one advantage, then try and find a way to win the next two games. And we're not going to win any games with a hand like this. Let's mulligan. Oh, let's mulligan again. Two no land hands. I guess we have to keep it. Let's get rid of Forest Forest. Don't like it, though. You know what? I probably should have just got rid of Ethereal Armor, considering we're against the Land Destruction deck, and we're going to lose all of our Forests. But we drew another Forest anyways, so we're set for Forests. Yeah, it could have been a terrifying start if they had uh, 
had untapped land and put a Utopia Sprawl. That's four mana on turn two. Acid Moss. Can't really attack here. You know, they have something. Naturalize? What do you have here? Like, killing Rancor seems pretty poor, but I think they have an instant speed way to answer in one of our auras. Okay, that's fine. We get to attack here. I draw another forest. Fuck you, deck. And no white mana was ever found. Aha! There's some white mana. We get to use it once. Let's uh, use it for Armadillo Cloak, I guess. I'm so scared of just losing my creature in combat, though. Because, like I said, it seemed like they had an instant answer to one of our auras. Oh, that's actually really scary to attack into this Arbor Elf. Just the way they were tapping before. What could they have? Naturalize or something? I'm so scared. I'm going to chicken out. Let's see what they have. See? Good thing I chickened out. They had the Glamour. Yeah, there's the Acid Moss once again taking away our white mana. But we've got double Rancor, baby. This looks like a boarding party. Into Arbor Elf. Alright. Well, that is a very quick clock. Let's uh, hope we draw some planes. Ledge Walker. Uh, Ledge Walker go. Maybe we attack with the Slippery Bogle. And then we do 4 damage. Put them to 8. And then we can put the Rancors onto the Ledge Walker next turn and get the attack in. Or we could hold the Slippery Bogle back to block the boarding party. That prevents a lot more damage. And we still get to attack in with Ledge Walker the same way. Aster Shade, think it's better to block. I tend to agree with you. Oh, it's Utopia Sprawl, so they just have infinite mana now. I mean, like, not seriously, but effectively. Here comes a uh, Annoyed Altasaur. Revealing Visionary. Okay. So they still can't block a Ledge Walker. While Altasaur does have Reach, um, Ledge Walker requires that they have Flying specifically. Alright, so are we dead is another question. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are not dead. Alright, let's attack in with Ledge Walker and hope that we draw planes next turn. Fuck. Tangled. I guess we're going to be seeing a lot more Tangle and Popper. Uh, it does make sense. Um, good against Hut Dogs, good against Bogles and Heroic. So, yeah. Tangle looking pretty good here. Another Altasaur. Uh, I think we are just toast here, so... I mean, I guess we can wait till our draw step, but this isn't untapping, so we can't... 
we can't compete with two Altasaurs. It's just going to deal us 18 damage. And Acid Moss, let's just move on. But yeah, I can't draw anything here. It's not going to show me what I would have drawn. Okay, let's move on. Ponza is an awesome deck. Do we want gut shots? I mean, it is pretty good against one card. Arbor Elf. I don't think we want it on the play. Let's just go fast. Might have been good on the draw. And we mulligan to five that game, so is what it is. Okay, keep this. Go get Forest. Turn two, play a... I think we play the Free Wind Falcon turn two. Instead of the Bogle Ethereal Armor. Kind of close, though. They kill our planes. Let's go get another one. Maybe we wanted to side out some of our sprawls. Okay. Say green. Commune. Find Rancor. Let's take that. This seems pretty good. Attack with an 11-9. Brutal. Forgot about Calming Verse. The Glamour. Oh, that gets rid of my Rancor very effectively. Let's play a Slippery Bogle. Pass the turn. And there's a Boarding Party. Thermocars getting rid of our single white mana. We can keep the Falcon back to block the Boarding Party. What do we draw? Another forest. I think we'll just hold back to block for now. There's an owl bear. Need to find something good off the top right the heck now. Or, you know, we could find nothing.
going down to six here. All right, well, this is the way that uh, Bogles works, basically. Uh, some games, it just seems like you run your opponent right over, and then other games, they cast one spell and everything ends. All right, so this is the deck we were playing today, Hexproof, Bogles. Um didn't exactly go quite as planned uh a lot of people were prepared for the uh, the slippery boys but you know that's the way that um that's something you're gonna have to really expect when you're playing bogles uh some games you're just going to have exactly what you need and you're going to be able to crush the opponent in three to four turns and then other times you know they're going to have that one spell that just ends the game for you uh, fortunately, um, we are able to get through leagues and matches rather quickly. Um, this league took a little, lo little bit longer than I would have liked, but I mean, part of that was uh, our first round opponent timing out on us. So, if you're watching YouTube, the uh, runtime should be significantly shorter than uh, it was if you were watching on Twitch. Regardless, I still do think this is an excellent option if you're looking to quickly uh, attack leagues so if you're playing on moto and you want to you know like get those games done as quickly as possible but you don't want to play burn or kiln fiend hot dogs then i think that this is probably your uh third best option